Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island Tour. I'm sure just by the flag, y'all can already tell exactly what kind of island we are exploring today, and it is a Harry Potter island. Oh yes, this is by Anna. She's one of my lovely, lovely friends in this community. And if you guys enjoy island tours and being inspired by amazing creators just like her, make sure to hit that subscribe button as I do put out new videos every single Wednesday and Friday. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and look at this map of our Harry Potter themed island. And the name of the island is Ascendio, like the spell. I looked it up because it looked like it would be a Harry Potter spell, and lo and behold, it actually is. <laughs> it's where they fly into the air. Um, you know, like Ascend, Ascendio. Anyway, here is the dream address right on the screen. Trust me when I say you will want to visit this island in person. It looks stunning just from the pictures alone, so I'm really excited to look around myself. Also, hello houses. We have one, two, three, four, five houses to explore. So get a snack, get cozy. This is going to be a lengthy video. I also see a maze right there in the middle, which is intimidating, but also exciting. And for a villager lineup, we have Dobie, Bam, Phoebe. Of course, you have to have the Phoenix-inspired villager on this island. You have Drago, Elvis, Poppy, Shep, Kiki, Julian and Sterling, such a fun lineup. Also the terraforming on the left looks really, really cool. So I'm excited to see what all of that pathing leads to. And this flag, I mean, come on, that's perfect. I don't know how else to describe it other than perfect. <laughs> And here is our little entrance. Oh, and right away we have a sweet little owl right here on this mannequin, but also the wanted posters for Sirius Black. And we have a train. There are actually a couple of trains, I believe, on this island, but I mean, come on. It looks so good with the standees too because they make such nice windows. Yeah. I'm really excited to take a peek. Oh, that actually reminds me, right outside of resident services, when you first wake up, you will see these goodies and then a ladder, of course, as well. But um, I have to wear this robe and I definitely wanna wear this little hat. And we'll put on some Mary Janes. Perfect, we have to look the part here, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm really, really excited for this tour. Also, please let me preface this island tour by saying I know I'm gonna miss some references. I read all of the books quite some time ago. However, it has been a hot minute. So if I miss any references, please do tell me in the description box below um, what you catch and what I have missed because I know there will be some things. But with all of that said, I was told to go to the left of the airport first and it's gonna take us through London. So we'll probably see a lot of villager houses. Look at sweet little Bam. <laughs> I love, and also all of the beaches are for the most part empty with the exception of this corner and then I believe the top right corner. Oh, and this is where our campsite is. Oh, and presents. <gasps> Even more presents? Well, I was not expecting this. We have a megaphone. We have fireworks. <laughs> oh, you know what this campsite probably is alluding to? Again, please correct me if I'm wrong. But in the fourth book, when all of the other schools come and stay at Hogwarts for the, um, the, the tournament, also check this out. Look at those broom designs and using the vaulting pole as the actual pole for them. Absolutely incredible. And the reason I say that is because of the trophy right there. The Goblet of Fire, right? I'm remembering this correctly, I hope. <laughs> so yeah, let's go through this neighborhood. <gasps> no way. So this is the famous triple decker bus that is a part of the Harry Potter series. Wow, that is insane. Also, let me just say, Anna makes the most amazing 
custom codes. And a lot of the things that we're going to be seeing on her island are things that she has created. Uh, with all of that said, she does have an awesome highlight on her Instagram page with all of the codes used, whether she made them or she used someone else's. So if you are interested in any of these, which holy cow, I mean, if you're making a Harry Potter themed island, look no further. <laughs> all of that will be in the description box below. And here we are in London proper, which I mean, this is just so perfect. Look at all of these simple panels. This is going to be one of those islands that is just filled with simple panels. And I'm sure we are going to see some amazing structures built out of them. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, here's a little, another present. I really liked the dropped presents along the way. They definitely help tell a part of the story. Oh, we have a shamrock soda. So this must be right here, the famous leaky cauldron. Wow. You know what? Even if you are not making like a Harry Potter themed island or anything like that, just looking at this for inspiration in terms of making a little bar or cafe on your island, I mean, how cool is that layering with the jail bars, the artwork, the simple panels? I've never seen anything quite like this. And it's pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Wow. So we just had ourselves a little drink here at the Leaky Cauldron. And then I guess we can sneak around this way. Wow, and yeah, I, I would have a feeling that there's gonna be some lag on this island because of the incredible amount of detail. Oh, yep, and then back here, we have all of the stores. <gasps> so here's a Quidditch store where again, you can get your brooms. I'm loving all of the trophies in the background as well. Oh, and this, I'm guessing this alleyway is Diagon Alley? How cool. Wow. Yeah, that has to be it, because this part is like super spooky. Oh my goodness. And you have the Owl Emporium right here. Okay, I wanna go the other way, because I think this does loop around, so I wanna make sure that we see everything. This is wild. Let me know if you did read the series, um, just the original, you know, how many books was it? Seven? Which was your favorite? Because for me, the fourth was definitely my favorite. Here we have Ollivander's. This is the wand shop. Wow. And again, some presents. And I'm guessing these are different wands, right? And they do say in the books that the wand chooses you, right? So um, I'm going to just randomly select one of these and I'm going to pick this one as my wand. Which one is it? Oh, I just got the basic one. What? Well, you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> This is amazing, come on. Even just look at these standees right here, how the circles make for perfect windows for the wands that are in the window. Amazing. And then back here, we have Flourish and Blots. So this is where you can come and get your spell books for school. Absolutely amazing. Also look at even just this detail of the pop-up book open with the dinosaur out, or in this case, probably a dragon. This is crazy. And y'all, we aren't even to like the Hogwarts part of this island. We are still very much like in the shopping district. Oh, back here we have the bank. Yes, one of my favorite scenes in all of the movies, at least, are the ones with the, the guys that work at the bank. You know, we should probably, we should probably take some gold. You know, we have to pay for our school supplies. Yeah, and then look back here at this insane dragon. What a cool way to decorate the secret beach as well. Of course, protecting 
all of the gold, all of the bells in this case. Absolutely insane. I mean, look at this artwork. I don't want to get too distracted because we have like a lot to see on this island, but it's going to be very difficult not to just gawk in awe <laughs> at all of these amazing custom designs. So cool. And then of course we have Little Nook's Cranny tucked back here. And I believe I saw Abel Sisters. So let's go see how Abel's is decorated too to fit this theme. And look at the little sprites. So fun. Okay, so we got our wand at Ollivander's. And then, oh, and then here is Abel's right here. Which, how perfect to have your four house robes right outside. That's amazing. Now, you know I'm gonna ask what house you're in, if you know. <laughs> I am a Slytherin. I know, I know, probably no surprise to anyone, but had to say, <gasps> Is this the Weasley Brothers shop? Oh my goodness. Are you kidding? Oh wait, I gotta get out of this frame. This is perfect. I There are no words to describe this other than absolute perfection. You have all of the toys, you have the candy, even like the detail with the whoopee cushion. <laughs> wow. Again, the talent with these standees. Look how everything fits so perfectly together. This had to have taken forever. Wow. And then here we are back at the Owl Emporium. Absolutely amazing. I'm pretty floored, like I said. This is wild. So then if we go back through Diagon Alley, I saw an incline. Wow, yeah, look at that lag, that is insane. I do have to say though, the leaky cauldron and all of the decor kind of setting the backdrop really inspires me. Like that's arguably one of the best, if not the best kind of like pub bar situations that I've seen on an island. I mean, look at this, come on. Like that's crazy. Okay. So if we, I'm gonna say the incline was this way. Yeah, there it is. So now if we go up this incline, oh stop, does it take us to the train station? So there's a ticket, we need to get our ticket for the train of course. And then, oh, yep, look at this. We're at platform nine and three quarters, meaning it is just about time for us to head to Hogwarts. But look at this. I cannot get over all of the amazing standees and custom coats here. Holy cow. Even again, Harry Potter aside, just from the aesthetic of having a train station, this is 10 out of 10. So well done. The little standee back there looking like the front of a train in combination with like the lamp post and other items to make it look so realistic. This creativity has no bounds. Wow. Wow. So I guess we are going to continue along these train tracks. Let's go. Across this beautiful waterfall. Oh, how fun, here's the train here too, so you can actually sit. <gasps> Dementor, right? Isn't that supposed to reference the Dementors on the train? Oh, how creepy. <laughs> That's so creative. I will tell you what, these standees are some of the best things that happen to us. <laughs> that face. <laughs> how fun. Whoa, and up here, speaking of standees, look at that, isn't that, it's the Weasley's car, right? The blue one that they drive into the Whomping Willow. Crazy, that is so creative. 
And of course we have a little owl. Oh, and then um, uh, Patronus, the Patronus. That's Harry's dad, right? Is like the stag. Also, might I just say, while we are here looking at the Patronus and the car, these standees right underneath me, right here, I think are so creative because the lines match perfectly with the actual in-game terraforming. And it really looks like this is a bridge supporting these train tracks. It's just so neat. And we made it! So this is the end. I have to say, I love how there are multiple sections with the train. So it really shows you and gives you the illusion of like starting and stopping a whole journey to Hogwarts. So here we are at Resident Services. This is where you wake up. However, of course, as you all know, I like to start my tours at the very, very beginning of the airport. Well, where, I don't even know where to go. Um, oh, I see a ladder over here, which probably means we have a viewpoint. And just while I'm seeing it, I don't want to miss it. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Well, we made it. <gasps> Are you joking? Yeah, so this is Hogwarts. Um... Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> I can't believe all of this detail fits on this island either. That is so crazy. Um, I guess let's go to the left first, why not? So we will go back this way. And I wonder if this takes us to the actual castle. <gasps> oh wait, I see a friend. I know there's a lot of characters, but we're going to try and say hi to everyone. Mischief managed. I love. Ooh, where to go first? Should I go left? No, I'll go to the right first. We'll explore back here. So here is the greenhouse with those oh so infamous. Were they, um, I can't remember the name of them, but those screaming plants. Beautiful greenhouse, by the way. And then here we are, we have made it. We have made it to Hogwarts, everyone. And another friend. Not my daughter, you. <laughs> and everyone has gone inside. <gasps> what? This is the great hall. Why couldn't it be butterflies? One of my favorite lines from the entire series. This is insane. Okay. Wow. Are you joking? So this is clearly the Great Hall. I was wondering if we would see something like this inside of one of the houses, which maybe we still will, but this is an exterior build of the Great Hall and it has zero flaws. Even the little sorting hat right there. Look at that. Wow, what an absolute feast. This is amazing. Now I wonder, so we saw earlier with the presents that meant, you know, what wand we had. So I'm guessing these are gonna be our house sorting robes. And I said earlier I'm a Slytherin, so, you know what, I'm just gonna go with my gut instinct and get this one. And I don't know if it's gonna be like a colorful item or something to kind of signify what house we're being sorted into. Graduation gown. Oh, it's green. <laughs> it's green. We have been sorted properly. Wow, that is some serious luck, isn't it? I can't get over this great haul, you guys. Even, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get very, very flustered here. Wow. Wow, like the letters on the ground, every single, every single detail, I am just in awe. <laughs> we gotta keep moving because I'm gonna get so distracted throughout this entire island. This is a work of art. 
I don't know how else to say it other than that. So here's one of the houses, but I do want to take a little quick peek behind. Yeah, because this is where the other beach is decorated. So as you can see, we just have a nice little structure down that way, which I love. Oh, wait, what goes up here? Oh, okay, so this is a house back here as well. So I guess we'll just go kind of in order in terms of looking inside the houses. Also, I love the exterior of these houses, but I'm also biased because I use that same cobblestone. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this hallway. And of course, all of the pictures on the wall, just to remind you how in the movies and in the books, all of the paintings actually speak to the characters, which is so much fun. Look at this crest too. It, it, I think this is a, is this a different one that's on the main flag? I don't know, but it looks so good. Wow, okay, let's go to the left first. And here we have a library. Oh, I love this. So I, I wonder if each of the houses, I'm guessing they're just gonna have different rooms that kind of reference the parts of the Hogwarts castle itself. I am loving how cozy this library is though such an incredible use of space and you know what I've never seen the wedding chairs paired with these desks but it looks so elegant now let's check out the back room and I believe all of the rooms are decorated except in one house a few of them are blocked off but that's impressive oh yeah look at this oh is that supposed to be professor McGonagall maybe the cat? Or is that Finch's cat? Or maybe it's just a cat, you know? Oh, I love this. How fun. I think this is meant to be McGonagall's classroom. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a stab at it and say that's the case. Wow, so well done. Everything feels so accurate. It's crazy to see a crossover between Animal Crossing and then arguably one of the most popular, um, you know, books and series in, in pop culture. It's just really, really neat to see the two come together. Anna did an amazing job. Oh, and here we are at the bathroom. <gasps> is this where Moaning Myrtle is? She's probably my favorite character. Let me know, who's your favorite character in the series? I am a big, big Moaning Myrtle fan. I think she's ridiculous and fun and silly. She's annoying, but you know, that's what makes her so lovable, right? Maybe not. Okay, let's go upstairs first. So this is definitely the Ravenclaw headquarters, which is so cool. They have their crest right there at the very front of the room. They have a lot of blue and purple tied in. Wow. This is so well done. You even have the beds right next to another. It really feels like a dormitory, but clearly a magical Hogwarts type of dormitory. <laughs> wow. So, I, I mean, just spot on. What else can I say? Also, I am moving a bit more quickly through these rooms as I usually would, just because we have so much to see. <gasps> Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Secrets. Oh, I'm standing on the snake, but this is definitely the Chamber of Secrets. <gasps> Oh, creepy. Look at this Python custom code. <gasps> oh, this is the view right here. Holy cow. Wow. The Python actually coming out of the mouth. <gasps> I'm floored. I, this, 
easily might be one of the most well-made islands in terms of detail and accuracy that I've ever seen. Wow. Absolutely amazing. And look, you even have the book right here to resemble the note or the journal. What's his name? Tom. Tom. Right? <laughs> I told you all I would miss some things. It's been a minute. But his, uh, his diary. Yeah. Voldemort's diary. But Riddle. Tom Riddle. There we go. I knew I would get there eventually. Amazing. Wow. And that's just one house out of five. So let's go immediately to this one. Oop. Gotta hop over. Oh, wait. Can I not get around here? Wait, what? What? Oh, there were two inclines, right? Hello? Of course. I am going crazy today. Need more coffee. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. Wow. Now this is stunning. This is just a beautiful botanical room and I am so here for it. I love, and I love the simple panels blocking off this left room right here. This is so pretty. <gasps> and this must be Dumbledore's office because of the Phoenix hat right there. Wow, and how perfect. There are so many items I feel like I have not seen combined until visiting this island that really have inspired me to just mix and match because some of it looks so, so good together. Like these festival items mixed with some of the imperial items. Yeah, this is so well done. Dumbledore's office. All right, now let's go to the right. <gasps> oh, how fun. I haven't seen a room this like brightly colored with all of the ice or holiday items in a hot minute. So this is actually bringing me so much joy. I love the little band set up. This is so sweet. Is this in reference to the ball that they have for the Goblet of Fire? The, um, what is that? What's the actual competition called? I can't remember. But they do have that ball, which is so beautiful. All right, let's go up. But I also do know, so Anna did say a few of these houses are for her family members. So some of them are not necessarily Harry Potter themed. <laughs> However, look at this kitchen. Wow. Can you imagine going to a school as massive as Hogwarts and just imagining like the cafeteria situation and how they had to feed everyone and look at the little elves serving sweet little doby dobby oh my gosh again with the mixing up animal crossing and harry potter dobby doby is on this island though <laughs> maybe that was intentional <laughs> How pretty! So this is the Hufflepuff, right? Because everything's yellow and there's the crest there at the bottom. This is their living quarters and it is so homey and sweet and lovely. Whereas the Ravenclaw one was definitely more 
magical, like it felt a little bit more whimsical where this one just seems really cozy and precious and clean. Everyone likes a good Hufflepuff, right? They're known to be the sweethearts. So much fun. Okay, let's keep exploring. We have even more houses to see, two of which I know are this way, so let's at least go that way first. We'll go up here and check this one out. I still can't get over that grand hall. That is so creative and how it's in the middle of all four of these homes. It really all just works so perfectly together. And here we are with another main room right here. I love, very simple, very quaint. Ooh, and then this of course is the little hospital, little nurse area. If someone gets sick, if someone has a fever, if someone tests positive for coronavirus, this is where they come. I love that. That's actually a detail I totally would have forgotten about to add if, you know, if I were hypothetically making a, a Hogwarts or a Harry Potter themed island. But it definitely shows up in so many of the books and so many of the movies is that little medical area. Oh, oh my gosh, what's her name? It's the reporter, right? The evil one that loves pink. This reminds me of her. <laughs> but again, this could just be a sweet kitty cat room as well. Look at all of the sweet designs on those hats. And even the villager pictures too on the wall. Cats galore. <laughs> That is something I wasn't expecting. That's really sweet. And to the right. Ooh, yep, this is my kind of spa. This is exactly what I want and need, is just to float in this little pool area. Come to get some R and R. I love it. I also really like the statue in the middle of the pool too. Definitely adds a very elegant element to this room. Okay, let's do upstairs first. We'll, we'll just do the normal progression in which I usually go through homes. And here are the Gryffindor headquarters, which again, spot on. Look at all of the trophies back there. I'm sure those are Quidditch trophies. And there we have a little Hedwig, I'm assuming. This is stunning. Man, these headquarters are so well done. There are so many details, like the robes, the crest. Oh my gosh, even the lady, the talking painting. There's the standee for her. So, so good. <laughs> wow, I love it. This is also just a room I really would like to hang out in. It feels so accurate. Amazing. So I'm guessing then in the fourth house is my headquarters. My, my dorm, if you will. My dormitory. You know what? I must applaud myself here. Whoa. Oh, this is the live chess room. Oh, how creepy. I believe that's in the second book and movie as well, right? Because it's in the Chamber of Secrets when they play chess. But with the live ones that will actually kill you. So good. So well done. Anyway, like I was saying, I am applauding myself for not doing a British accent this entire video. 
I have not. I'm tempted, I've been watching a lot of Love Island, and all I want to do is be silly and talk in a British accent, but you know what, I'm gonna refrain from it. <laughs> but just know, just know that this is not easy for me. Oh, how cool, we haven't even seen this whole left side. Okay, so let's go in this house and check it out, and then we'll explore the left side. Or I guess we'll do the right corner first, because I know the last house is down there. So let's see all of the houses, and then we will continue exploring. Oh. Jail. Ooh, how creepy. Well, I wasn't expecting this for this main entryway, but you know. It is a part of the story. It's all connected. And this is where the sprites are, I'm guessing. Oh gosh, that scene in the movie gives me so much anxiety. I love it though. What a great code too. And again, if you are interested in using any of these codes or if you're curious as to who created them, Anna has done the due diligence of creating a full highlight on her Instagram profile with anything and everything, and a lot of them she has made, which is crazy the amount of talent it takes to do that. <gasps> Ooh, potions. I wonder, like, what kind of class would you want to take the most if you were to attend Hogwarts? Because... I would love the ones that deals with animals. Like I would probably be Hagrid's buddy. Something about potions is really cool too. It's just like, you know, it's like cooking, but with things that can help and harm people. <laughs> well, hey, I mean, I guess cooking is the same way, right? to the right. I think one that I would not be interested in is flying, like on a broomstick. I just don't really have any interest on, on doing that, you know? I wanna be in an airplane instead. This is beautiful. Love just this very cluttered, beautiful room. I have a feeling I'm missing a reference here, so if you're picking up on it, please let me know. But just aesthetically, it's really pretty. Wow, I'm really loving this wallpaper. I feel like I don't see it used too terribly often. But it looks really cool. All right, let's go upstairs. Oh, and this is the tea leaf reading class. Ooh, how fun. That's always a really creepy part of the movie too. When they do the tea leaf readings and then just everything hits the fan. Stuff starts, ha starts happening. Starts happening. Wow, I told you all I need some more coffee this morning. Or maybe I need some tea. Maybe read my own tea leaves. See what the day has in store. <laughs> this is amazing though. It's, it's crazy, like as someone who has not read the books or watched the movies in at least like a few years, I feel like it's been a minute since I've seen even any of the movies, I'm still picking up on all of these, not all, <laughs> but a good deal of the references because Anna nailed how accurate they are. <gasps> Ooh, Slytherin headquarters. Oh. Well listen, y'all know me, give me moody and green. And I am a happy camper, so you know what? I feel like this is so accurate. I feel at home. <laughs> wow, this is so well done. Even the simple panels with the green potions on them. Ugh, so good. So good. Wow. I love that each of these houses gave, wait, oh, I'm in the basement. <laughs> I was very confused for a second. I thought I was upstairs. I love how each of the houses have those dedicated rooms per Hogwarts house. That's so cool. 
And they're all so uniquely decorated too, which I absolutely love. <gasps> a friend! Ooh. Ah, my fellow Slytherin friend, as we can see. <laughs> kind of looks like a, a Malfoy a little bit. A little Malfoy friend. So instead of going across this bridge, I'm gonna remember it's there because I want to go across it. But before we do that, I do want to go to the bottom right of our map. So back through resident services, because I want to explore that before we see what I think is kind of like the grand finale of this island, or at least in my mind it is, which it's to the left. I'm trying not to look too hard because <laughs> I do want to really soak it all in. But I want to explore over here first and foremost. Yeah, let's go this way and see what's in this corner. Because I think the last house is also in this corner too. Yeah, we just have like a little town. Of course, all of the wanted flyers for Sirius. And then, oh, yeah, this is the last house, I think right here. <gasps> Wait, another friend? <laughs> so many spells, I love it. Yeah, let's go in in here. Is this like a tavern? What is this meant to be? Oh, I was right. How did I know? Wow. Again, so well done. Between this and the one that's outside, I mean, these are just so spot on. Also, so thankful that we have many more food items. Like, look at the little boba tea over there. Nintendo did really hook us up a little bit with the food items as of lately. You know what? I'll take any update. <laughs> and the little piano. It's all just so good. All right, let's see upstairs since all the other rooms are blocked. Oh, how sweet. And this is just a very, very cozy, green, amazing kitchen and living room situation. Got to appreciate that. And this just goes to show too, y'all, even if your island is very specifically themed, whether it is a certain, I don't know, a certain aesthetic or something like this, where it's based off of something from pop culture, you can still have a house and create a house that is just for you, just for you to enjoy and it still works so nicely. If anything, it just adds your own little personal touch to it. I love. Okay, well in that case, let's keep going. Oh, let's go up this way. I think there was an incline over here, but yeah, it's right here. <laughs> I just wanted to make things difficult for myself, I guess. So here is Dobie's house. Not Dobby, but Dobie. <laughs> wow, look at this view. Wait, can I get over there? I'm gonna try. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's amazing. And I didn't even notice, but I believe those are supposed to be the boats that the other teams sail into. That's how they get to Hogwarts, right? What a view. Okay, now let's go back to where I was saying earlier, I think is kind of like the, the finale, if you will, of this island. Or at least the order I, I kind of am expecting to go in. Drago! <laughs> He's really perfect for this island too. It's fun to see how intentional these villagers are. Absolutely love that. So if we go back through here, there is an area on the other side of resident services that I kind of saw with my peripheral, but I didn't want to totally give it away. Because I wanted to see that last house before we fully explored it. 
But if we go back through the forest, yep, there it is. Oh my gosh, how fun. Oh wait, the Whomping Willow. That's exactly what this is right here. <laughs> how cool is that? I don't know if we looked at that earlier, but through here, wait, no, it's still back this way. Hold on. We gotta give it the proper entrance. Look at this Quidditch field. Are you joking? Look at how amazing this is with the stalls and the simple panels. Is it not perfect? This is wild. <laughs> like how cool. And again, the way that these vaulting poles are placed right here with the broom custom design underneath it. Who would have thought? I mean, the creativity truly knows no bounds. And that is just, just so wildly well done. And then over here, it looks like we have a little viewing area, a little seating spot to look up at that beautiful walkway, which we need to go back to. I knew this, I, I mean, there's just so much to see. It's hard to think that at the beginning of this tour, we were in like the London part of the story. And now we have traveled through the Lucky or Leaky Cauldron to Diagon Alley. Oh, sorry, Shep. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. All the way through here. We talked to you, haven't we? Did we? Hello? Okay, I think we did. <laughs> and then even this hallway. Look, and the phoenix back there, too. Because this truly looks like one of those walkways that they have in the movies to separate like the different corridors. Oh wow, it is a party over here. Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Oh, in the mail room. Are you joking? Stop. That's way too perfect. Look at that mail room. This is crazy. <laughs> Hello, friends. And then over here, this kind of looks like it would be um, Hagrid's house with all the creatures around. <gasps> oh, it is because look, there's little Buckbeak. Oh, rest in peace. Oh, sweet, sweet. Buckbeak. And wow, yeah, Shep's house is kind of perfect as an exterior for Hagrid's house. Oh my gosh, and then this is the Forbidden Forest back here, I'm guessing. <gasps> oh, with that um, like massive spider. Uh, that's a really well-made design, but no thank you to the spiders. Not for me. And then Julian's beautiful yard too. Everything is just so well done. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. Okay, one last area, one last area. I mean, there's probably 20 and I'm, I'm missing them, but wow, this is amazing. I haven't seen anything like this before. Hello, sweet Shep. Oh yeah, and just a casual lily of the valley in case you couldn't tell that this was a five-star island. <laughs> Pretty sure everyone probably could make that assumption, but just in case. So one last area is that maze that we saw on the map, which I'm guessing is like the maze in the the wizard's tri, tri cup. What is it called? <sighs> Please, Harry Potter fans, don't cancel me. It's the Tri Wizard Cup, is that it? The one that's in the Goblet of Fire. Anywho, <laughs> I promise I know what I'm talking about <laughs> most days. But I think, yeah, the maze is over here. Oh boy. Well, let's just sound off and compete. <laughs>
<laughs> Which, knowing me, uh, mazes are definitely not my strong suit. Really, anything that involves direction is not my strong suit. But, you know... Why do I feel like there's... Oh, oh, oh. I opened up my inventory to see if there were going to be pitfalls to step in. But instead, I found... A shovel. I don't know if that's going to be useful. But you know, you never know. Oh my gosh, I'm loving all of like the beasts that are around too. <gasps> Wait, you can actually get to the cup? Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. But if, if I know anything from the books, that trophy takes you somewhere. What the? Oh, oh, it's a bush. Hence, the shovel. Oh my gosh, it's all making sense. I didn't know there was going to be like a little mini game happening here. I just thought it would be a little maze, but <gasps> we made it. We made it to the trophy. But when you tread, at least in the, in the book, when they grab onto the trophy, it takes you somewhere not too great. So let's see what happens here. I'm kind of nervous. Oh my gosh, to the graveyard! You're joking. Okay, that is the perfect detail and perfect place to end this tour. I'm absolutely floored. I'm sure all of y'all are. Wow. Yeah, so in the fourth book at the very end of it, whenever, I mean, spoiler alert, but I, I'm sure a lot of you that have seen the movie or read the books are aware of this plot twist. But yeah, Harry's taken to a graveyard where things transpire. That's all I will say, but this is definitely what that alludes to and this is so cool. I had so much fun touring this island. Please let me know in the comments those references I missed because I know that there were some. Also, let me know what house you're in and most importantly, do not forget to go give Anna some love. She's known as A-N-A-S-K-Y-E dot A-C-N-H on Instagram. I will make sure to put that in the description box below. Not only is she a lovely human being and person, but her creativity is clearly on another level. So it will only behoove you to go give her some love. With that said, y'all, I hope you have an amazing day or morning or night or whatever time it is, wherever you are in this world. I hope it's a good one and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.